and this is the third generation of the Aether 450s. Now this upgrade is more of an evolution than a revolution which is probably why Aether has not changed the name of the product and it's still called the Aether 450X, similar to its predecessor. Now the upgrades are based on two things, customer feedback and with a name to improve the overall ownership experience and in this video we bring you the first ride review of the new Aether 450X Generation 3. Welcome to Bike Valley, my name is Sovil Suswirkar. Now before we talk about all the updates that the third generation 450X gets, let's talk about the design because that's the least that has changed on this electric scooter. Uh, the scooter carries a very similar design to the second generation model and thus you would see this apron mounted headlight, these sleek LED uh, lights on top that double up as uh, DRLs and turn indicators, so there are no changes over there. The cockpit continues to carry the 7 inch color TFT display with a touch screen. There are no changes there. The seat, the pillion grab rail, everything remains unchanged. In fact, even the color palette has not changed and this scooter is available in three colors, space gray, white and mint green. The mint green color is the one that you see on your screens right now. While the design remains similar to the second generation model, the Aether 450X third generation benefits from new rear view mirrors that deliver a better vision than the older version. Now these are also lighter than the mirrors on the second generation 450X. Another addition to the new model is this sidestep for the pillion riders who prefer to sit with both legs on one side of the scooter. This setup has been designed to ensure that the aesthetics of the scooters aren't spoiled while enhancing its utility value. On the downside though, this sidestep is not compatible with any of the previous Aether 450 models. The paint quality and fit and finish is commendable, but there are a few parts that need improvement. The charging cover, for example, looks flimsy and it could have had a firmer mount. The switch gear works well too and the buttons are easy to reach. However, the quality of the turn indicator switch and the mode toggle switch could have been better as these units lack the assuring click that one would expect from an otherwise well put together electric scooter. Aether has also introduced optional accessories for the 450X. For now, these include luggage solutions that come in the form of a tail bag and a pouch that sits near the footboard. Now with the design out of the way, let's talk about all the updates that the 450X third generation gets and the biggest sits under the footboard. That is the battery pack. The 450X third generation comes with a bigger battery pack. What Aether has done has added more cells to the battery which uh, essentially helps it to maintain better thermals and deliver a better range. Uh, in terms of range, the certified range has increased by as much as 30 kilometers while the true range, which is the real life range that Aether claims, has gone up from 85 kilometers to 105 kilometers. That's an increment of 20 kilometers over the second generation model. Now, apart from increasing the battery capacity, Aether has also improved the user interface by increasing the RAM on the 450X third generation. This electric scooter gets 2 gigabytes of RAM as against 1 gigabyte on the second generation model. Now in the long term, what this is going to do is allow Aether to introduce more features. The list includes um, offline maps, voice command system, but that's way into the future. We don't have a timeline on that. In the short term though, what it does, it improves the overall experience. It makes the experience more smoother than what you get on the second generation model. The list of updates continue in the hardware department where the Aether 450X third generation gets a wider section rear tyre as compared to the second generation model. Now this scooter uses a 100 section tyre as against a 90 section unit on the second gen and Aether claims that this delivers better grip. What they have also done is revise the thread pattern for better grip in wet conditions. The Aether 450X continues to use four ride modes. The Smart Ego mode uses an algorithm that allows the rider to use the speed of the ride mode while having a good range. However, two enthusiastic throttle inputs lower the top speed in this mode in order to deliver the higher range. 
the instrument cluster has an indicator that changes color when aggressive throttle inputs are used. With the battery updated, as we told you earlier, this scooter can deliver a range of 105 km per charge in the smart eco mode. Aether has also revised the suspension tuning to accommodate the bigger battery pack and the bigger tyre and the added weight that it brings to the package. But this tuning is still on the sportier side. So what you get is a sporty handling scooter which feels really nice when cornering or while flicking from left to right. But at the same time, it compromises the comfort levels. The sporty suspension tuning isn't very forgiving on bad roads and you would feel most of the undulations on the surface. Take it to the wide, twisting roads though and the Aether 450X would put a wide smile on your face. Now, as I said at the start of the video, the Aether 450X 3rd gen is more of an evolution than a revolution over the 2nd gen model. Now, some of the components that this scooter gets can be installed on the second gen model and these include the new rear view mirrors and the wider section rear tyre. What you can't do is add the 2GB of RAM that this scooter gets on the second gen model. Now at the time of filming this video, we do not know the pricing but we do not expect it to be very higher than the second gen model. So that was our first ride review of the new Aether 450X 3rd gen. Make sure that you like the video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay notified every time we upload a new video. Till next time, this is Suvil signing off.